CrossFit. The first picture that pulls up. Oh my, oh my gosh. Is it really? Okay, here we go. This is like, this is like cringe fest 9000. What is going on what? over there? There's a flipping oh, bug. Did you get it? Him. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thing is driving me nuts. There's a flipping bug uh, in my in my grill, dude. In get your out grill? get out my grill, bug. Get protein. I will eat you. I don't care. I will eat the bug. I will consume the bug, Tracy. I don't have a problem with it. People get grossed out like, eh, it's a bug. I don't care. I'll eat it. I'm hungry. I'll eat it with coffee. And I'll take your coffee too. And I'll drink your coffee, Tracy. I believe you eat the bug before you drink coffee anyway. <laughs> wait, wait, you believe I'll eat the bug before I do what? Drink the coffee. I haven't seen you drink coffee in ages. That's because I drink the coffee before I get to work. I don't like it. <laughs> Why don't you like it? Because you're supposed to share a coffee. Like it's a moment. Oh it's a, my a moment. God. You know it's what that moment. is? Dude, dude, that is why I used to smoke cigarettes right there. I'm not because of me. No, 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 no. That's why people smoke cigarettes. Why? Because it is a, it's the same thing. Like, like the way, obviously having coffee is a lot less damaging, but the mental, that bond that you, it's, it's this like community, Let's have a cup of coffee together. Let's take that five minutes. You know how like in the afternoon we'd be like, hey, want a coffee? You'd be like, yeah, I want a coffee. Okay, I'll, I'll make you coffee. We'd make a coffee and then we'd sit for a second and, and drink a coffee. And bull crap and not get anything done. For like five minutes. Yeah. That is exactly why I used to smoke cigarettes is because you go like, hey, you want to go grab a smoke? Wanna go grab yes, you go outside, you have a smoke with somebody, you BS. It is, I swear to God, it's I've identical. Never, I never needed that bonding. But I need you, this bonding. No, no, no. It's the same. What I'm telling you is, it's the it's exact same not thing. The same. It's the same thing. One is bad for you. The one, the other is not even close to like what cigarettes are. But it is that exact. You know what it's like to be a smoker. How does that feel? <laughs> How does it feel? Anybody that used to smoke, tell me. I, I'd like to hear in chat if you used to smoke cigarettes. Am I? Or if you do smoke cigarettes now, am I right or am I wrong? That is a like such a incredible part of smoking is like, I'm gonna take a smoke break. And I used to drink, and that's why I transitioned to diet. I was in Diet Cokes and then I went to coffees. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Tracy, you could have been a smoker. No, never. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, you could have been because you have the mental capacity. <laughs> you have the mental goods. To, to, to be a smoker, it's literally the same exact thing. It's so weird. And But the thing is with, uh, well, caffeine's a drug too, but it's not as gnarly. Nicotine is, you get this intense buzz, like you take your first drag and you, you just get, you're just like, oh Dude, my God. you have issues. What are you talking about? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's I'm telling you. Thing. It's not the same thing. Have you ever smoked a cigarette? Nope. Thank you very much. How do you know then? Because this didn't make me sick the first time I had it. I, did I say it made me sick? Everybody says that. I'm like, well, that's yeah. why I've always like, why would I try smoking? They're like, it was awful. I coughed up a lung. I threw up. I'm like, why would I try that? I And you thought to yourself, let's do it again. Wait, wait, wait. When did I say? You never said I, that. Okay. I'm just saying people. Okay. All right. But my, it's the same thing with drinking, though. Most people, when they first have a drink, are like, don't Ugh, talk about drinking. Just, it's good. Exactly. 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 So your argument does not stand. I'm sorry. But what I will say is it is truly I, – I just – I want to know. Oh, my God. That smoke break used to be life. I'm about 15 years clean. Thank you, um, Tankeel. Thank you. Thank Didn't you. agree with you. They just said it was life. No, no, no. That is completely agreeing with me. It's smokers no, man. But co coffee drinkers – also, you guys know too. It's in it. There is this thing with like, I'm gonna check out for just 2.2 seconds. I'm gonna go. That's why I drink it all day. Exactly. So I can like check out all day. <laughs> <laughs> like someone comes up, like Tracy, I need to talk. I'm like coffee. No. <laughs> can we talk about my famous favorite favorite game I play every uh, morning? I we twitch. Uh. Wait, wait, Frostbite Ruthie, so Habib, did it make you sick the first time you smoked, no, though? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think so. I think so? I coughed. How old were but, you? Oh, my God. When I actually decided I wanted to start smoking? No, no, I like decided. Like first 
the first puff of cigarette, I, I sneaked my dad's cigarettes, his Kent's. I grabbed them and I went in the backyard and I took a couple puffs. I didn't get sick, but I was like, oh, this is gross. And then I stopped, but I was like nine. I was a kid. You have issues. I was, a, I was a kid. But when I actually first started smoking, it was because of curiosity, because I wanted to understand why do people, it's about my curiosity gets me in a lot of trouble, but why do people smoke? What is it? I want to do this and I want to experience it to understand. And then that's how I actually got into it. And it then, I, an then I got It was an experiment for science. It was in it for my own science. It's my own science experiment. The game, sorry. What were we going to say? What my game? My favorite game I play every morning that we twitch. Um, please don't say we twitch. Ramon, can you tell her to stop saying that? Twitcher. Twitchy. Twitchy. <laughs> You're officially on Twitch. You can't say Twitcher. Twitchy. Twitch. <laughs> Just like, that's all I see, what man. What did Greg call it? Tweaking? <laughs> uh, before we go live on Twitch? Yes. Okay. Um, I know the game. It's fun. <laughs> the game is... How much can I stress out Ramon and race to get here before the time actually starts? Yes. And Tracy made it with, what, 25 seconds? 25 seconds. Yeah. I had plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, this is a game. I swear to God. Uh, Leslie911, coffee makes me go to the bathroom. <laughs> yes, it does. True. Um, this is actually, this is very, very true. <laughs> um Frostbite Ruthie, exactly. This is gross. Um, yeah, I, I I mean, I was like eight, though. I was eight years old. Purple BTS 69, I've quit smoking 28 years now. Good for you. I did. I quit. This was in 2000. I think officially. I quit like five or six times, but I think I officially quit smoking when after the the whole, when we did we did the Sally's. We used to, we would private label for like Sally's Beauty Supply. And um, we don't anymore. But when we did it was the craziest like most insane thing we've ever done and i think all of us were up like nonstop. it reminded me of, of of last year yeah um greg and i were really like running the machines back there and we were smoking a lot of cigarettes yeah i see i had just you just started came right here so i wasn't involved in any of that yeah i, think I went and got food every once in a while for you guys that's right i lucked out <laughs> you did luck out. Seriously, you might have quit. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding you. If you actually got involved, no, 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 no. Tracy, you might have like, just because you first started and you, you're, I think you would have been like, wait, 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 Greg and Abib are like this? What the heck? I'm oh, not. like I haven't seen you at your worst. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Because it's different when you start. Look at this position I'm in. This is weird. What are you doing? I, I feel, I'm about Ooh, to take a drink of water. Check out our but new chairs. I know. I love these new chairs. They're good. It's a random. Random back forth. They're, they're so comfortable, actually. So thank you. These are like huge, huge upgrade. I, they're so comfortable. It's bugging me, though, because these are a kind of an off-white, not a white-white, like they said they were. Yeah, you can totally tell, too. Look know, in the stream. It bothers See? me, too. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I don't – like we were at our worst, worst, though, because when – this the stress was really you would have seen greg greg and i got into a lot of arguments during that time we, what we fought a lot i promise you yes i've seen you and guys at your worst on that too you I, have yeah. you've seen it pretty bad you've actually seen us like drunk wrestle in orlando i right? have pictures <laughs> dm me if you'd like to see him no no the, the best the best thing though what, what i think is hilarious is greg and i are drunk wrestling in orlando in the middle of like this it's like crowded and Tracy's, she's just standing there and like, you know, not trying to break it up or anything, rather like completely enjoying and being entertained and snapping photos of it. The best thing she ever did because every couple of years she resends us that photo. It's the best and photo, especially <laughs> the one with your arm around each other and like, yeah, it's good. It's that, good stuff. That's when Greg start, just started working out CrossFit. He, and I remember he was like, you know, I'm stronger than you and he was all crossfitted out and he was like in shape. And so like I was testing the waters and I was drunk and I was like pushing him. And then we just started going at it in the dude, middle of it. Dude, when he started crossfitting, it was the worst. It you know, was awful. You know when how he they first say started. like, do you know what how uh, that if someone crossfits because they'll tell you nonstop. Now I used to crossfit, but Greg would in the, his first introduction, first day at the OWC, during his introduction, would talk about burpees and show everybody how to do burpees. Like, <laughs> wait, 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 was he actually doing those? Yes. I'm just like, He's what is doing going burpees, on? Bro. So he was. 
Oh He's my gotten God. way better about it. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. still CrossFits, but oh my God, he never shut up about it. Yeah, it actually made me <clears throat> like dislike CrossFit, I think. For, for I was just like, I'll never do it ever in my life. And I still kind of go by that, but you're right. He, I, I forgot he, I remember you would come over and you'd be like, he was just doing burpees. He was literally just doing, doing burpees, burpees in front of the OW. It's, it's kind of hilarious. Like if I'm a student and I come out to OWC and like, you know, you've been watching Greg on YouTube and then here's Greg in front of you and all of a sudden the guys do, I, that would, that's entertaining actually. It's pretty hilarious. You're like, honey, what did you learn today? Burpees. Uh, how to do burpees. <laughs> that is so funny. I did burpees yesterday. I didn't like it. Like after I worked out, like we, we, we train and then I'm going in certain, and they're like, we're doing burpees. I'm like, what the, I hate burpees. I did burpees yesterday did too, you really? but they make us do them on the reformer machine. How the hell do you do that? So you stand on the platform, you jump up, oh. and then you extend out oh. on the platform, <laughs> do a bear back in, do a push up, do a bear back in and stand back up. So, so there's all that tension. The in, whole time, <clears throat> yeah. That, that's, that is Awful. Oh my God. Frostbite, Ruthie, Tracy, bring the pictures. <laughs> Girly, uh, love young, your nail. Sorry. Uh, throwback Thursday, drunk rustling solos. <laughs> that actually could be a fun throwback yeah. Thursday. I don't know. Do you actually have those pictures, Tracy, in your I, phone? Of course I do. Where, should I find them? <laughs> Serenity the Pink, uh, LMFAO. Oh my God. She should show us. It was pretty. Bad. Shawnee Starfire. I have to get Skittles and Andy Cap's hot fries. Damn. And what's Andy Cap hot fries? That sounds freaking good. Serenity the Pink, I'll never cross oh, it's the first pitcher that pulls up. Oh, my, oh my gosh. God. Is it really? That's okay, funny. here we go. This is like this is like cringe fest 9000. Oh, my God. This is so awful, guys. <laughs> oh, can I see it? Go ahead and scoop, move it like, yeah. I mean, hammered. There you go. That's perfect. Oh my God. Hold on. I Let's mean, get closer. Yeah, that's a great idea, Tracy. Let's oh, hold on. <laughs> this is so bad. Why do we have to get closer? It's it's because we it's, need to see the expression. <laughs> look at the, the best is like I'm obvious drunk, but if you look at Greg's eyes, oh my God. he is like beyond oh, yeah. the level of hammer. Hold it, hold it. We got more. Hold on. What do you mean we got more? Oh, yeah. This is. Oh, God. This is just. Where you get. How do these just pop up? How does I your am phone like know? I ninja when. Dude, I remember they were serving us the. This is like, you know, obviously. Oh, this. God. This Let's makes my stomach hurt. <laughs> Hold on. This is good stuff. Oh, my God. This is really making my and stomach it's all turn, blurry. guys. Because <laughs> you were drunk, too. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That's, that's before it started. He's like. St that's literally. This that is area is where we started to wrestle and we were hammered like hammered guys and this is why i don't even this is Ugh. dark i don't even know if you guys can see this but this is the glasses oh we're yeah drinks in these are these are amazing tracy the fact that you have this is <laughs> i don't know if you can see the you, glass but it's like, it's massive. it's enormous it's Look enormous no. <laughs> you know you have issues when you get text messages that are wine texts <laughs> oh my god oh my god amazing. brotherly love tanquil yes it is true brotherly love it's brothers having a great time you know i there that's bittersweet oh god that just Dude, makes i remember that night because i how just uh i was two weeks out of my i think my last surgery oh like I, you were done i i think it was two weeks after i had uh because i had to have a illinostomy bag uh, after my uh, first surgery. Right. And I think that was two weeks after I had, they had put me back together. Right. Pieced me back together. Right. And so I was just, <laughs> probably should not be drinking. And I remember that night because I went up to my room to go just do something oh, and I, I just ended up crashing out and you guys are calling like, where I the was, hell are you? <laughs> I was, I remember, I think I was calling you, calling, I think, did I finally wake you up and you came downstairs? I think so. And you like and sat and like, just, we had I more was, drinks. yeah, and I was just like, <laughs> I was in that mode of just like, oh God, that makes my stomach turn, dude. The best when Greg drinks though is how emotional he gets. It's awful it, it's not it's it's tracy i used to have to room with him okay <laughs> let me just tell you these are like old like the old stories of when we used to rage and party 
when we'd go to shows and travel and like I'd have like we we used to share a room, right? Because it was it was economical. So we'd share a room and I used to just be like, oh no, dude. And he would be hammered and he'd be bawling. Like, I, I, bro, I love so, you, man. I, just, bro, I love my mother. I, I love, love my, my brother. brother. And nobody <laughs> else matters. Nobody else matters. It's awful. It's I mean, beautiful because he just. No, it's so cringe. It's the most cringe worthy experience you could ever have. And like, I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking that, but that's so that's adorable. He gets like, no, no, because he's, hey, he won't shut the, you know what, up. He won't shut the frig up. He grabs on me and he like, hug, and he starts kissing me on the freaking <laughs> cheek. And when my bro, you, you've been there for me, man. I love you. I'm just like, dude, you got, okay, okay, okay. I'll never forget when we went to, uh, we went to Atlanta and um to go close a deal with a new distributor this was probably in i don't know 2012 went to dinner and we start the you know this distributor starts ordering we actually thought we had the account like locked up okay so it was celebration time it was like celebration time so and we're out with the distributor the distributor's buying drinks and greg oh, no. does not stop on the distributor he's like he's like bro Dude, you got and just he and I, I, I'm kicking him under the table, Tracy. I'm like, shut the stop, bro. You're gonna destroy. Anyways, they never ordered from us. Like, it, it was like done. And I'm. <laughs> There's so many stories oh like that, though. Oh my god. Yeah. There's the opposite where that happened, and then they place a massive order. So like, it's, just it's it just depends. But I, I, I'll never forget that. I used to get so mad because he would get tanked and then just. He wouldn't stop with the distributor. He would just like, he would just go off. But that's when you get hammered, man. You know, that's what happens. Um, so many stories. So many stories. Uh, simply, Jessica, I have a question regarding your slick pour. Can it be mixed into your hard synergy gel? This is a great, great question. Tracy. Yes, yes it can. Um, you just have to watch your ratio. Just like glitter, it, you don't want to mix so much that it becomes like sand. So you just have to watch it. But yeah, I, I, I like mixing it. Okay, cool. Hey, look, there's your emote. P Shawnee Starfire using the heart of the Tracy emotes. I have an emote. You have an emote, Trace. Hold it. Am I a bigger tier than Greg? <laughs> She'd like to know, Ramon. Don't avoid the question. Uh -huh. yeah, what? What? Like innocent deer in headlights? Tier number one. Everybody's going to be tier number one. Is that low or high? I don't know. I don't know. No, no. There's tier one, two, and three. Yes. So, so here's the tier thing. Tier one. Here's the way to look at it is tier one is probably going to be the most accessible and most yes. used tier two will be second and tier three will will is greg is apparently. greg right well, well, those, those emotes will move over to tier one and it's just as we get more mm -hmm. emotes to use mm -hmm. is that my is that my uh nephew uh clouds was our kid uncle can i get a free tier one sub if that's my cousin i'm gonna i'll gift him one Ooh. um i'll get him something is that uh Troy? I think it's Troy. Troy, is that you? Give me a, give what me a, Troy? give me a heck yeah. <laughs> Isn't it school um, time, Troy? Yeah, Troy. What are you? Your parents are gonna kill me. Okay, your parents are gonna like. They're <laughs> and they're old, but I got an education on how my uncle used to drink. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I know. Um, let's see here. Tracy's tier one min attic. Yep, it costs less, but everyone is gonna use it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, the lower tier as well. Story be of my life. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. I, I know. I'm totally kidding. Uh, Troy is here. Got you. Got you, buddy. Okay. I have a question for using foil transfer. Do I need to use the light before setting the foil paper down or no, if that makes sense? Is no. That... <laughs> no, you don't. I sometimes use the light just to um, – because – so it makes you kind of stay still and it has the timer on it. Yeah. And the warmth helps a little bit, speed it up. Um, but I have to admit something, and this is just really going to bum me. Um, Greg discovered something pretty cool. And wait, wait, that bums you? Yes, it does. Why? Because you didn't discover it? I uh, know. I don't care that I didn't discover okay. it. Okay. It just bugs me that he discovered it. <laughs> Fair enough. Because okay. you know how he is. Like, bro, you got to check this out. Like, have you tested it? Have you tried it multiple times? You know how he is. Yes. Um, but for people that are struggling with the, uh, the foil, yeah. sometimes the timing, whatever, um, if you do ultimate finish 
first, cure it for about 30 seconds, then go into your foil base like you normally will, it comes off easier. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> and I have no idea why, which you, was my thing when he cure, said that. I'm like, Jesus, right? Wait, you cure the foil base? No, 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 no. So do ultimate finish first. Because oh. typically we okay, just right, go right, over right, the, right. the, the, the nail itself. Okay. Um, cure it for about 30 seconds. Okay. And then do the foil base like you normally would. Okay. It just, everything comes off way easier. But ultimate finish gel on the natural nail? No, not nat we're not okay. talking. Okay. Oh, you're talking about on the artificial nail. I yeah. gotcha. On I the gotcha. natural nail, there's heat from the nail bed. It I really gotcha. helps and everything. Okay, and I don't cool. know if it's the, there's some heat coming off that finish that helps. Uh, but if you're having trouble, try that out. Awesome. Gotcha. Uh, Nails, Melanie, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Super appreciate you being here. Um, so glad you're here. And uh, hope you learned something about foil right now. Look at that. Greg discovered something that Tracy didn't. Good job, Greg. Nice work, bro. Good job. Slow <laughs> uh, clap. Question. Um, Ramon, I got a question for you. Because Kelly nailed it, said that uh, she, s she subbed, but she's getting ads. She's not subbed. She's not subbed. Okay, Kelly nailed it. I don't think you're subbed on... Young Nails, if you sub with Young Nails, you're not gonna get ads, right? Correct. Yeah, correct, okay, so let me know. What's up, Tank Jackson? Um, are we gonna get a sub notification? Yeah, I was actually just talking about that with Ramon this morning. We're working out some kinks, right, Ramon? Yeah, we're. this is all a process. We're, we're learning as we go, but we have, you know, we go live on YouTube as well as um, on Twitch. And so there is some things that we're figuring out right now. But that's it, funny you mentioned that. I was just talking to Ramon. Like when that happens, I w like I want to definitely have like a notification that way we can all like welcome him in if you do sub. Yeah, um, and if he moves as fast as he does on that Ramon camera. It'll never get done. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Ramon camera is a special delay. There, that that's that's a forced uh, like. I'm gonna make sure I never get this done, get this done kind of a thing, if I'm not mistaken. Right, Ramon? What was that? <laughs> he's all awfully Listen, confused today. He's very what? confused today, huh? the Ramon. I'm gonna have to do it, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna talk to C's, okay? And we're gonna figure this thing out at some point. Um, we will figure it out. Let me see here. Um, this is so, I love seeing all these like emotes and this is so cool, man. The chat is just like lit up. Were you able to put Y in by your name, Acidocles? Okay, there you go. Um, so, sorry. Somebody asked about pricing. Leslie911. Can we talk about pricing? We can <laughs> Here, I'll, how about this? We can talk about pricing on yes. Tuesday. <laughs> on Monday, when we go live. <laughs> the day of. We can't. What? Oh, it's not Monday. It's I'm sorry. Memorial sorry. Day. Monday's Memorial Day. So it's we're going to go live again on Tuesday. You shouldn't have told him. Just had him show up. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? I'm like, hey, guys. What's going on? Where's everybody? <laughs> um, that was terrible. Uh, Never let me do that laugh again. They'll do it again. Give us the deets. Listen, I you have no idea. And Tracy and Ramon know this. Like, There's nothing more I'd want to do than tell you all the details of the sale, but um, I can't because trust, I want, like there is this part of me that I just, I love the element of surprise. You guys are gonna be happy, that's what I can tell you. When you get on tonight at 9 p.m. Pacific, you're gonna be stoked. Like there's no way you can't be stoked, right? There's no way. No way. I mean, right? There's no way. Would oh, you? It's, it's it's a good sell. It's, it's it, well, a, I mean, it's it's one of our largest. It's one of our biggest, year, you know. But um, I'm just I'm just surprised at you. Right I now. know. I'm, I'm doing so good. Proud of you. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> so I don't even know who you are anymore. <laughs> proud of my boy. He's growing up so fast. Little, little Biebs all grown up. <laughs> now get the hell out of the house. <laughs> I don't care that you're ten. Get out. Kick me out my out my butt. Uh, wasn't. Sorry, I just burped. Um, I know you don't want to hear that, but I just, I got to be honest. Give us the deets. Hello. Let's see here. Manatic, wait, isn't the sale this weekend? The sale starts tonight, tonight. at 9 p.m. Pacific, yo. 
Yes, it is. Um, I thought we were special. You are special. <laughs> you guys are special. You, you guys actually, are so special. He got in trouble. I did get in trouble. I got in trouble because I was talking about the sale here like three weeks ago when I wasn't supposed to. And then it got out, obviously. And then our customer service got bombarded of like, when does this product come in? And like, it, it didn't go well. So, um, but I'm just telling you, we will figure this out. Um, <laughs> we'll figure this out for maybe the next sale, how I can give information. But for this one, you guys just got to wait, but I'm telling you, you're going to be happy beyond, um, you're going to be stoked. I'm telling you, it's a solid, like anytime we do store wide, you can't lose like, cause every oh, single good. skew is on that. Yeah. It's a good, you're going to get a really good deal on everything. And then there's others that, that are going to go, are going to go more. Um, so you will definitely be stoked. Uh, I really thought Abib is about to drop deets. <laughs> Janat. I can't I do know. it. I, I can't know. do I'm, it. I'm surprised. You don't want to give one. Uh, you want to give one? Look at you baiting me, man. Y'all uh, don't you, don't call customer service. Get him in trouble. <laughs> See, you all call customer service and you just blew it. No. Oh, my God. Give up the info, bro. No fear. Ray, dude, come on. Uh, well, okay. So I love Ray, Ray, Ray and Tracy on, are the ones Ray. that are like telling me. First of me. all, so I just had a Zoom call with uh, customer service. And then Ray this helped, morning? Yeah. Okay. No, yesterday. Okay. Um, afternoon. And Ray's always on there because he helps out a lot. And, you know, he does a lot of customer service too. And – um. And what's funny is I purposely keep Ray off of all the emails because customer service manager, Anna, who she's a blessing. Uh, yes. And production, um, demand planning, Ramon and marketing. All I send an email out. As soon as we approve all the sale items, okay. I send an email out so they all know what's coming yeah. so we can start planning for it. I purposely <laughs> keep Ray off. <laughs> and he'll admit this, so I'm not I'm, – because Ray cannot help himself. He he he's gonna tell customers. He's he loves his customers, dude, man. He loves his customers. Black Friday, Black Friday. Yeah. Okay. It's Black Friday hadn't even started day before Black Friday, and I'm looking at sales orders because that's when I was really working back in the he's warehouse. He's already taking orders. He was already <laughs> taking orders from mystery boxes. I'm like Ray, oh. what? You cannot do so. Oh, Ray, no, that's great. He actually found out the sale deals yesterday, so. I will give up all the deets. Ray, I just don't have any deets. Okay, there you go. Okay, Ray, don't, please. I know, C's, thank you. C's is the only one. Kira, uh, Janot, Tracy, Ray, they're like, give it up, give it up. Um, Kira on I here. I said one, just one. Yeah, just one? Yeah. Tell them what the jellies are going to be. You want to do the jellies? What? Okay, we're going to give you, we'll give up the jellies. And the jellies are going to go, um, it's all four powders. For mm -hmm. that, I just said it. Did you hear that? <laughs> all right, the gel. We're gonna give up the jellies. All right, go for it. All four jelly. They're all in forty-five grams. Okay, so normally forty-five gram powders are um, what are they? Ten? No, 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 no. Forty-five grams are twelve. Twelve. 12. Let me just take a gander 12, here. Sorry, no. guys. Twelve ninety-five, everyone. No, they're, is that right? I no, no, remember more. all old pricing. I know, I know, I do too. I even remember our old item here, codes here back when there were just numbers. 1255 yeah. is the regular price. So let me just do a little calculation for y'all. Um, so 1255 times four. $50 and 20 cents would be the normal. It's They're gonna be 25 bucks, right? For all four. <clears throat> for all four. All yep. four for $25. It's a bundle, dollars. can't get them separately. Won't be able to get them after. There, I did it. I you told you. you yes, better? God, that feels good. Okay, so that's a fifty percent off. It's actually a little bit what? more. What? Oh my! You are trying to get this man fired from his own company, acidically. <laughs> All part of my master plan. They gave in. Thank you, Take Jackson. Twelve fifty-five. Yeah, uh, Shawnee. So it's 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 a that's a smoking deal. Um, there's there's many more. 
like that that that's that's one of the more aggressive deals you know but again store wide everything's going to be um a good per- not 50 percent off i'm gonna the whole store is not 50 percent off okay um but, we, we need but product after the sale <laughs> we need product after the sale we would literally be cleaned out and and uh probably destroyed by our distributors and stuff they would kill us but um <laughs> but it, it is still a very it's very aggressive, and uh, but that is a great – and those those are limited supply, the, the jellies, and they are – God, I'm telling you guys, when you get Did them – you see them in the challenge? Yes, they're amazing. Yeah, I loved – I love what they both did. They both did an amazing and then, job. Um, I just both unique ways and then I don't know if you watched the twitch the other day with Greg he was doing kind of this ombre with them he did an ombre kind of with all four of them in the challenge and then he was just doing like blue and yellow yeah. here Sick. they make a beautiful. beautiful ombre I know dude dude they're those things are gonna be they're, they're just so perfect for summer right like especially like now that people are going out, you're going to be going to the beach and people are, I feel like people are going to be out this summer. Yeah. It is like the timing mm. of these They're are so spot out. on. Yeah. You guys are going to love them. Traffic you're going to love them. Traffic is crazy. Everybody. Oh, dude. We went to Huntington on Saturday before the whole craze. Craze. And it was that still happened. crazy. It was still I think so Huntington's busy. been open like even like for last It year. has, but <laughs> I forget how many people actually go there, you know, because I would go during, uh, COVID, we'd, you know, wear yeah. masks yeah, and yeah. all that, but, um, and I thought, oh, there's a lot of people here, but now it's, it's insane. Uh, Serena, the pink, the jars are in my card. <laughs> that's so funny. I was going to buy them either way. I know. I, I, dude, I, I love you guys. That's, you guys are amazing. Like, I know a lot of you are excited and you want to get them anyway, but on top of that, we're always thinking like, we want to give you still an insane deal yeah. on those um, on those jellies, man. Yeah. Value, total value. Like it's so crazy. I was like, this morning. Speaking of traffic, um, I was like driving to work, and uh, I, uh, I I was playing. I I'm like I want to listen to some like '90s Ooh. grunge. You grunge. Know? Yeah. I was like you so. You surprise me sometimes. <laughs> Oh, dude, I was Hold like, it. I got a what? text message from our customer service manager. Oh, uh oh, oh no! You might be in trouble. Uh oh, am I in trouble? Let's see this. Are, am I seriously? Good morning. Good morning, Tracy. Okay, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared, dude. I'm like, I respect our customer oh, service. Oh my so gosh. Gotta... And she will tell us. <laughs> Which is why she we will love tell her. us she loves us, and then tell us how it's gonna be. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Um, so yeah, no, no. I was listening to some like not, like Pearl Jam and some Counting Crows. Um, you were but, talking about Counting Crows the other day. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, I, I just forgot how great of a band they were. But I yeah. started so listening to Pearl Jam, and oh my god, like I just forgot how good you know they are. It just brought back so many insane memories you know like it just like straight brought me back to the 90s it's amazing how like music just triggers your memory oh it does and feelings oh my god it takes you back to that moment of being young and happy and (laughs) single um yeah (laughs) love you babe young and happy and single Single. but it's, it's true okay so Music better then or now? I, I just think it's different. Yeah. I, I think it's just completely different. Like, I, I love the 90s grunge, you know, with Nirvana and, like, Smashing Pumpkins and, like, Counting Crows, Pearl Jam. I love – I mean, I've – used to go to – like, one of my best memories was going to the Pearl Jam concert. I've gone to a couple. I went to the Polo Fields um, out by, you know, Palm Springs and just this huge open field, and I was in this – sea mosh pit you know like not really a mosh pit it was kind of a nice but it was like a sea of people and we were just going off to Pearl Jam and then I went to another concert down in San Diego same thing it was just like those are some of like my as far as music is concerned you know and and because during that time that's what I was striving to do you know I had I, I would I was in, I was like, God, I was crazy. Seriously, Tracy, like, I, I remember this. 
when I, when I was in college, like that's when I started playing drums, right? Yep. And I wanted to pursue music, right? Right. So I had a conversation with two of my friends. I don't know if I've ever told you this, but I had a conversation with two of my friends. One was a singer and one was a guitar player. And we were like, let's, let's try to do this. You know, we were like 21 years old. Okay. Hey, let's try to like, let's like after we graduate, let's go full force on music. Okay. You know? And they were like, yeah, we're down. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I go and tell my parents, right? At this time I was in a master's program. I tell my parents that I'm dropping out. You know, I still think about my dad, like how amazing their reaction was. But I tell them I'm, I'm, I'm dropping out of school and I'm gonna pursue music as a drummer. And they were just like, you know, they were disappointed, but they were like, go do what you gotta do. Yeah. So I'm like, this is what I'm gonna do, right? I'm gonna go pursue my dream. I'm, that's I have one gear. It's a hundred and freaking twenty percent full force towards what I want to do. So I do it, and then I'm like waiting for my friends. Did you tell your parents? Did, Did you? you yeah, do, are we gonna do this? Are we moving in together? Are we gonna? Never happened. Never happened. So I was like, you know what? F everybody. I'm gonna do this by myself and like so anyways as I'm driving right this is all like relating bringing back memories and stuff I'm thinking about in that that time frame how like all of my family and a lot of my friends <laughs> were like this idiot kid was like supposed to go to medical school yeah. right I could just imagine the parents you know your aunt and uncles how's Habib doing dude my don't want to talk about it my like i would go to family parties and they would all it was the same thing it was like and you know what i i, I kind of fed off of it right like my personality i was like yeah go ahead talk talk smack you know i don't like you'll you'll you will see you will see i i'm not going to say anything and i was still confident i wasn't like ashamed i would show up at family parties just walk in the door and be like like i own this you know i was kind of a little punk 22 year old but that's kind of how it act, but I, I definitely had a chip on my shoulder, you know. But even though that, that that career didn't work out for me, it taught me so much about decision making, right? And like just pulling that trigger of I'm gonna do this with my life, and I don't care what anybody thinks, and I'll take all the criticism. It was such a great experience um, of like it felt so it was so liberating and freeing as like a 21 year old kid, 22 year old kid to like, I'm going to screw, I'm not going to, I don't want to do this path. I don't want to be an actor. I don't want to be following someone else's path. No. What, what about your friends? Whatever. Do you know? They, they got jobs and like everybody is, they're all doing well, obviously now. Um, but they got jobs and they were, uh, they just, they just got jobs and just kind of went along doing working and making some money and it was it was fine it worked out yeah it worked out for them and but i don't know that's why with my kids i'm i'm very much like go do stuff you know go try stuff yeah and go and that you know even when it comes time to eventually like when they finish high school and if they don't want to go to college go in ex go explore life go, experience. yeah go experience yeah. life so you know? important my 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 mom was it's crazy I think about now back in during that time for a Korean mom to be like, yeah, go, go to New York, Khabib. Here's a one-way ticket. Like how insane is that? Smartest. Uh, it is seriously Khabib, smartest. One-way ticket. She's like, I'm done with you. <laughs> and you're like, oh, thanks mom. And she's like, yeah, you're welcome. Dude. Out. I know. She was like, get seriously, get out of here. She, that is such an amazing move as a parent. It is. As a parent, you know. And then my dad, he was not happy about it, but staying silent about it. You know what I mean? Um, but because what are you gonna do? Exactly. He can't. He could. He could. He just. They were. They were. They were great. Like, like I appreciate that now about them so much, and especially understanding like, you know traditional Korean families and traditional Middle Eastern families. Yeah. If if you're going to say I want to be a drummer, are you kidding? In the 90s, you were crucified, like seriously. But I mean, 
They li- married each other. Yeah. Right. They don't follow the rules. No, they don't follow the rules. They were, I mean, to get married in, in, in 69 or 1970, I think it was, or, or, or just before 70, I think it was 69, to do that in 1969 for, you know what I mean, is insane. Is insane. Well, it's and totally that's insane. the thing. Obviously, you got it from somewhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> How did I not make that connection? You got yes. it from somewhere. So. There, there, there's a total, like, uh, a little bit of that rebellious, you I'm know. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to do my thing, exactly, and and and, and just kind of roll with it. Um, but, no, it's just uh, – it's, it's, it's a funny memory to have Killer Bunny Nails. College definitely isn't for everyone. It isn't necessary for everyone's success. I We've talked about that here before. I completely agree with you. It's so different now. Um, it just – with the internet and you have all this information available, you can learn whatever you want. You know what I mean? You don't You don't need it. Ray from Young Nails, let's get the band back together, bro. It's not too late. Ramon has a great voice. I know he does. This is something that we've- uh, We've talked about. Yeah, Ramon can, can he can actually sing. So Ramon, we're gonna harmonize, bro, okay? And if you and we <laughs> don't get a Ramon camera soon, I am going to pull up the YouTube video of Ramon singing for oh, everybody. Oh, oh, oh. I give you one week. You have that's it. The time starts, Ramon. You better just cue up that video, Trace. Where's your phone over there? Just cue it up because anything can happen. Created by Cooper. I spent a ton of money on college. Didn't use it at all. You know, it's weird because I talk smack on college a lot, but at the same time, it was the experience for me. Me, like I, I have to be honest about. It. It did change me in the sense of, are we? We're frozen. Are we frozen around? Are we good? We are frozen. We are frozen. Frozen. Let's see. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I agree with you, Created by Cooper. Is my, is my, is the vocal still going or no? It's just completely off. Uh, I think it's, yeah, I don't check, check, check. You guys hear me? Oh yeah, no, you froze. Oh. Love the fact that she's only wearing one hand and <laughs> always. Uh oh, what happened? No, the video's oh, either now, oh. Gonzo. It's coming back on. It's coming back on. It was Ramon. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. I think we're back. We're back. Yeah. I just think it's very interesting that I threatened to show his YouTube video and then we freeze. That's a very interesting coinkadink. Mm. Yeah, look at Ramon tinkering at Thread of Duet. <laughs> Mama Frog 7, you're so right. Killer Buddy Nails frozen, I can hear you, but screen froze. Oh, okay, cool. Um, screen froze again. It's frozen again. He's like, stop putting me on the spot. <laughs> Cuts internet. <laughs> Chat is hilarious, man. Audio is fine. Okay, we'll just keep going. Yep. Um, but I... Uh, like I did, I did learn a lot. Like it was, it was kind of developing for me, but as far as the actual education portion, that's what I'm talking about. Unless you're going to be a doctor, a lawyer or engineer, a physicist, PhD, you know, accountant, all those things that require certain like degrees and, and, you know, um, even post-grad, um, degrees, I just don't think, I think you can get the learning experience you get in college another way. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't think it's, I got it in college and that that competitive edge, I learned that in college, but <clears throat> I think you can you can learn that in other ways in, in different, uh, in different I, I couldn't hear anything either. I think the problem for Oof. me is like Sounds great. the okay. cost, you know, I oh, yeah. really feel bad for these ones who are getting out of school, have all this debt and they're not getting the jobs yeah. that could pay the debt. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I think that's the biggest thing is the cost of college is so insanely yeah. high. It's not even a joke. I mean, you're by the time my kids get to college, it's going to be eighty to a hundred thousand dollars a year. Per kid. I mean, per kid. You're talking two kids. You're getting close to a million dollars in 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 debt, if you're taking out loans, that's the major, who, for, I mean. For your kid to tell tell you that they're gonna be a drummer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way my, initially my dad saw it. He was like, he, cause he, I later talked to him and he was like, you know, initially I was, 
this is why he was so disappointed because like he he paid for my college right yeah. i went to uc riverside and he was like i i just you know worked my tail off so that you could tell me you're going to be a drummer exactly what i explained to him later was dad that money did not go that, that's what i was saying like what i learned yeah. in college is you used oh my god oh my god tracy like competing people are like what are you talking about competing in college well like when i was in pre-med the classes were so insanely competitive i was in a competitive program already within the school and so like if you want to get a good grade you had to be in the top 10 percent. so you have a class of 200 you had to be top 20 okay to get an a Oh. And then everybody else is getting B's, C's, D's, and then fail. So you had to be top 10%. So like against some pretty freaking smart people. So my first year, I, I couldn't figure it out. It took me multiple times, you know, and at, at one point I was like really eating dirt. I was like, I, I came that close to quitting and then something shifted. I don't know what it was. You know what it was? You quit partying? No, I didn't quit partying actually. <laughs> What this was a and, and this applies. This is this is the thing that I learned that I have taken with me everywhere in anything that I do. Is like I was initially trying to I was cramming and I was having success, right? Uh -huh. So I would cram for a test, stay up all night, and I would get an A. As you move up a grade, so into your second year of college, the information is so much that you cannot cram anymore. It doesn't work. Okay. So in that first quarter, I was trying to cram and I was getting like B's and C's and I was getting so frustrated, I couldn't do it. Um, so going into the, like during that, that winter break, I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna study ahead of time. <laughs> it's, oh. yeah, like prepare, uh, be patient, take small bites and small chunks. For a 19 year old kid, that's not an easy thing to do, I'm telling no. you, you know what I mean? And um, like, and then what I would do, this is gonna sound so weird, I would take the day off before an exam and I would just get away from everybody and I would, uh, I would focus on breathing. I know that sounds weird, but I would focus on breathing. You kind of do that naturally, I, You're just putting it out there. What, <laughs> you'd be shocked, actually, people don't, unfortunately. But, um, and I was crushing the exams. Um, sorry guys, we're having some internet, oh, Where? oh it keeps glitching. Ah. Okay, cool. Um, so I would, I would like an hour before my exam, I would go off and I would meditate and I would breathe. Okay. And I would go into my test and I was annihilating everybody in my in the class okay I was getting number one number two number one number two and people didn't understand what was going on and I was like holy sh sh you know what I, I figured yeah shiznick I figured out and what I what I realized is that like in anything that you do like you, like this is what I tell my kids. I'm like, do not cramp. You have to prepare. You've yeah. got to be prepared for things, and you got to do your homework and study it. And little by little, taking bite sizes, but also, like, there's a difference between knowing the information and performing. Right? You see this in athletes a lot, yeah. where they they're insanely talented and amazing at what they do, but then when they get on the floor, they choke and they can't right. perform. They can't perform. And yep. it's the exact same thing with test taking because you have an hour and the pressure is on and you crack under pressure. So if you're in that like, so you know how like athletes talk about getting in, they get in a zone of like this state of like relaxation. I literally would force that. I would breathe and I would walk into the test and I'd be like, oh my God, I felt like I was high to be honest with you. I wasn't high, but I felt like I was high and I was so relaxed and the test would, they would drop the test like, the inf it was the most bizarre experience. But that is that is where I learned like, oh, this is how you excel like next level. You know, when pressure is on, like you have to be relaxed in a state of relaxation to perform at like a really high level. And it was funny because like these like hardcore um, like kids that were getting A's and, and crushing, I was now crushing them and they, 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 were, they were so confused. 
And I was like, and it brings you joy. Oh my God. It was the most, it was the most incredible feeling because, because it didn't come naturally. You know what I mean? It wasn't like I had to figure it out and I figured it out. And so anyways, I carried that through. Well, so for that reason, college might be good, but I think natural talent just can take you so far. That's, that's, that's a fact that that's, that is completely a fact. And I think it's talent is overrated. You know what I mean? In terms of like people put too much on just talent. Like when you see somebody that's successful, the first thing people say is, oh, they're just super talented. It's like, oh, they might be talented, but do you know how much, like you gotta have hard ass work in there too. The world is full of talented people that never made it. That's exactly right. Designed by C's from YouTube. Uh, D Zenitram 23, wait. What was the message? Now I'll never be successful. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. What are you talking about? I guess they didn't hear the whole thing. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. You, you absolutely will. It's, it's. Yeah. I don't know if you can go back and listen to it, but <laughs> the, the message is quite the opposite. Is like he used to cram, then he wasn't making it. Then he had to like start actually studying all the time, meditate. Killed it. Exactly. Exactly. destroyed everybody exactly uh the test taking is is, is the, i just i think it's hysterical when i meet somebody and they're incredibly smart and intelligent right okay and but what they say is like it's this yeah you know i, I just don't i just don't try you know that that or maybe they don't say that directly or they give that vibe of like well i just don't try you know that's why and it's like you know, you're, you, I, all I smell is fear? so much fear, Tracy. Yeah. There's a lot of fear there. And like, that's somebody where I'm like, I'm a, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to tear you up. Like you will not last with me on a competitive floor because I don't think about talent. I think about like methodically learning and understanding something to its fullest and then executing on a regular basis because that's that's what actually works. Right, know? right. I think uh, people hide behind, I'm a perfectionist. Yeah, yeah, that too. That's a big one. I mean, we see it in nails all the time. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, definitely. Well, and, and, and anything, anything. Anything. A project. You know, well, yeah. it needs to be perfect. Well, could you start it? I mean, just maybe give it a whirl and see yeah. what happens. And uh, I think, again, it's a, a fear of doing it and failing. Yeah. So I'm just going to say that... Uh, it has to be perfect. Yeah. And that's exactly right. Perfection is like, in, in my opinion, it's almost like a disease. It's like, dude, there's there's no such thing, first of all. And second of all, too many people hide hide behind it. That That's that's completely true. Um, created by Cooper, meditation is good. I took a stress management class in college, best class ever. Um, meditation changes chemicals in the brain. That's That is completely true and like i think people <laughs> we i think when you say the word meditation people are like like cringe a little because they think of this don't do that wait one more time one more time that's not what i'm talking about but i start my start doing that because i just i can feel the annoyance from tracy cringing <laughs> exactly that's what i'm talking about it's super cringy it's not it is not that. It can be that for some people, but it's more of like being in – how do I even talk about this? We're, this is – talk about opening a can of worms, dude. We're going to go down this rabbit hole like real quick, and it will make Tracy cringe in a way that you guys will never see, which is awesome. I like. But – uh, nervous. We, <laughs> I'm nervous. Meditation really is – I swear, I swear this is, this is the sort of like the, the, the basic principle behind it is literally just being aware of your thoughts, like what you're thinking, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if, and, and then not reacting on them, but watching them as they go by, like that is the basic premise like of, of, of like meditation, you know what I mean? It's like, people are always like, well, when you meditate, I try to stay calm. You can't, that's not going to work. You You have to roll with it. You have to roll with it. It's literally like, oh, wow, look at that dude. Look at, 
I'm freaking out right now. You know, you're just noticing, you just notice these things. And that's the start of it. And I, I literally, I mean, I do that on a, so I don't, I don't have like a, a set meditation routine, but like if I have to do something where I have to execute, you know what I mean? Like exam or if I'm going to go and train and I'm going against somebody that I want to win and like the pressure is on and I know like the instructor is watching, okay. you know, and it's like, it's like just this little bit of extra pressure. It, I turn into this meditative state, which, which I've been doing it for so long, so I understand how to do it, which is just, oh, you're nervous. Feel that, you know, like don't, I'm not gonna try to hide I'm nervous, I'm nervous, and oh, I'm kind of freaking out. And like you said, Trace, the, honestly, that's it. It's, it's like literally rolling with like thoughts and emotions and not trying to fight it or escape it. It's kind of like an anxiety attack. It you're is. You're not supposed to fight. Yeah. The anxiety attack. You have to roll with the anxiety. You gotta, you gotta roll with you it. You gotta right? allow it. Yeah. And then you it passes. Like feel it. Yes. And dude, that's that is that is literally if you fight it, it gets worse. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I I I, I love that helps me. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. You're gonna die when I when I say this. Oh god. One of the things I do every day to meditate is I wash the dishes, Tracy. Oh, you could meditate in my house. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> I could predict it. It is a cleaning and, medi and, and doing the dish. I start with the dishes, okay, and I walk up to the sink. I'm not kidding you, this is, this is my method. And I look at it, and it, sometimes it's overwhelming, right? Because the kids, the kids, and there's like food, and like they just dump stuff, and they don't, freaking clean it and put it in the dishwasher, right? So I'm staring at this thing and it's like that, it's anxi it's, it gives me anxiety. Mm -hmm. Would it give you anxiety if you saw like a dish? Uh, oh no, I get anxiety all the time in the kitchen. Right? If it's- Well, I, not to change the subject, but is it a man thing that the garbage doesn't go in the garbage, it goes on the counter? Is that a man no, thing? No, 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 it's not a it's man thing. It's about to freak me out. Dude, No, I can't complain. Dan does a lot of cleaning, but why? <laughs> and I'll be like, the trash can must be full, which isn't good reasoning because take the trash out, but the trash can isn't full. It's it's not a man thing. I'm telling you, in, in my house, the, the, I, the exact same thing happens on okay. the opposite end. Okay. The exact same thing. As a matter of fact, this morning I walked out in the kitchen, I was like, I'm going to kill somebody. Like that, that that's what I'm talking about where, the and, the, and then I stop and I'm like, clean this one dish. just. Habib, like it's kind of like when I get overloaded at work with if there's like a list of stuff where I'm like I gotta call this, I have a meeting here, and I have to do this, and I have to go into the bank, and I have to like send this wire, and I have to, you know, like I call lawyers. And nothing and gets done. And yeah, nothing gets done, right? I stop, and it's like do one freaking yeah. dish, bro, and I I'm like oh okay, the one dish, I clean it, put it in the dishwasher, and it's like okay, do do one dish, and like bite sizes, right? And then I'm. I'm it like I'm like oh this is gonna get done. It's actually gonna get done step by step by step, with one dish at a time. And then I put my earbuds in and I'll put on a podcast and I focus on that one dish at a time. And I swear to God, in 15 minutes, it's clean. And then I'm like yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean. so I get the vacuum out. I do the floor, clean the countertops. I go in the I start and I got about two hours in me of that, and it's clean. And it feels amazing. so good. It feels I just, amazing. I just picture this because you're talking about meditation and doing this. Like, I'm like, I just picture this like a bead with this long hair, flowy, <laughs> like you know the bead necklace and like the yogi pants, and then no. like there's music in the background, wind blowing for some reason in his hair. Like, no, nope, not at <laughs> all. Is he vacuumed? Oh my gosh. No, seriously. If the garbage, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Cause I I love I'm a big fan of paper plates and plastic cups. I am too. I know we, I shouldn't I too. be, but I know um, as far as cleaning. But it, it, yeah. so I'm like, it's easier, you know. He, you know, cause Stan's at home. He's eating three three meals there. Sure. Day. And but then they're just out on the counter. Why can't we put them in the trash? Oh, and dude, last night, so he got into the block of cheese, right? One of the small ones. And he fell asleep on the couch. He leaves it out. The dogs ate it. Oh my God. I find the wrapper in the yard. I'm like, Stanley, where's the block of cheese? He's they all, chowed the whole I put it back in the fridge. I'm like, 
No, this rapper says you didn't. Yes. I did, said, eventually this is coming out. I don't oh know what's going to happen. Oh, my. Did, was it bad? Yeah. Not yet? Not yet. Is that this morning? That was last night. Oh, my God. That's not going to be good. That's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. No, that happens. There's like, I walk out, I, I come home and they'll be like, I'm like, dude, I just cleaned. You know, and then it's like, oh, this is my daily practice this of is meditation. My meditation. This is my They're meditation. Just helping. They're just helping me. Exactly. I don't like messy, man. I don't. And uh, people are always surprised by this. Like I tell people, you know, who knows is like my, my mom, my, my grandmother, she used to always see me, but people that really know me know that I, I, it drives me absolutely. When I lived by myself, my place was clean. Like I never had a dish in the sink. I ne like stuff. I could, I can't stand it. You know what I mean? You know what's interesting is like there's an area in my bedroom that is just all my clothes from the whole week that I just take off there. And it drives Stan's great. But when Stan isn't there, yeah, I clean. Like that's what I do every night. Like I, it's easier. But when he's home, it's this guilt feeling. Like I pick up a little bit, but there's that guilt of I haven't been home all day. He's been home all day. Right. Come sit on the couch with me. Yeah, yeah, Have yeah, coffee yeah. with, you know. <laughs> and so there's this guilt thing. I I am way more uh, productive when I don't have a husband. <laughs> to put it bluntly. That is hysterical. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Yes, that's correct, Serena the Pink. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't know what uh, – all cats too is talking about, but I just love the fact that you said farts. Then I don't know. I don't have no idea, but it's hilarious. Rem oh, oh, oh! It's going to be more than oh. that. Somebody I tells just me hope it's it happens more than that. today while I'm not there. But uh, seriously, <laughs> what did you do with the cheese, Stan? I put it back in the fridge. Uh, uh. It's too funny. Uh -oh. um, I bought what? this thing. Speaking of the fridge, have you seen them? There are these. Um, for like the milk? Yes. Oh, dude, I have How seen did you that. know what I was because, talking about? Because I saw it too, and I was like. Do you like, know what I accidentally did yesterday, though? What? I'm an idiot. So it's this mechanical thing that has battery. You, you stick it in milk, juice, whatever, it, and it goes over the top, and then you just push the button, and it pumps. So you, you can, like, open your fridge and have it in the side, and then, like, for kids, it's amazing, too. Because, yeah. like, you just take your glass and just boom, you know, put it up against I think it. That was my gift. So I put, I, I'm like, all so smart, like showing Stan, like, check this out, babe, you know, doing it. I put it in the fridge in the side, um, in the side slot on the door. Shut it. Guess what? That hit the shelf that was in front of it. So it pumped it, oh, all the, a brand new juice, big old juice, God. out all over the fridge. That's so I guess awesome. I can't get too mad about the cheese because I had lemonade everywhere. Yeah, but it's different because the dogs didn't drink it. The dogs didn't drink it, but also there's the like, you know, there's a diff there's it's like you close the fridge. That's like a, that's an accident, right? You can say leaving the cheese out is that an act? Because my my wife does that, and so I I actually understand what you're saying, Tracy, and. I, I empathize with you. Like, she'll leave food out. And it's like, that's not an accident. Put the food back in the fridge. Why? 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 Especially, especially when we're putting garbage on top of the counter and the garbage can literally is underneath it. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's insane, I know. Um, all right, guys. We are going to wrap it up. Um, I oh, want... We're boring Ramon. He's yawning. I know. <clears throat> but I'm going to talk to Ramon about... Um, streaming live from home so that we can actually do more streams i want to i want to get the, i want to get more of this going so that we can do tracy can be here and I, I can be at home but we can still stream i think that'll be interesting <laughs> we were joking the other day i said habib's gonna think i'm at work but uh he's gonna see that i'm just floating in the pool at home <laughs> dude float in the pool <laughs> i don't like if 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 you want to take that day you want to stream from your from home go ahead i don't care i'm I, I'm going to have the work background, and it's going to just keep on going in and out. <laughs> You're just like, you see your head bobbing back and forth. Oh, I'm here. I'm here, guys. I'm here. Um, I hope you guys really, really enjoy the sale. I, I hope that you appreciate that I did give up one of the deals. Uh, you're you're going you're gonna to really, you're going to dig it. It's We're excited about it tonight, 9 p.m. Always, if you have questions, you can hit me or Tracy up on Instagram through Young Nails or our personal IGs as well if you have any questions during this time. And have an amazing Labor Day, excuse me, Memorial Day weekend. 
Have a safe one. And we will see you on Tuesday morning when we get back. And um, that's it, man. Enjoy the sale. Oh, watch this. Watch this. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching these highlights from our Twitch stream to talk to us live on Twitch. Join us Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday mornings. Come hang with us. We love engaging with you and talking with you in the chat. It's at Young Nails Inc. on Twitch.